Hi everyone, this is Han. I'm the Rust Specialist from Sony Malaysia. So recently, Sony launched a brand new software called Imaging Edge Webcam. Basically, it transformed your camera, let's say this one, ZV1 right here, to become a webcam. So you are getting much better video quality output in comparison to the one that you found on your PC or laptop because the sensor size in those webcam is very small. And this one is having a one inch sensor. So you are getting much better video quality output in comparison to those. Yeah, how cool is that? So additionally, uh, please check out the website itself. Uh, there's actually currently, there's up to 35 cameras supported. And also, uh, this software does not record any sound. So I recommend you to use your internal microphone from a laptop. Or like myself, I have a headphone as well. It can use the headphone to, uh, let's say, re receive the audio and also do the uh, microphone as well. Uh, as per this video recording, this software also currently works on PC at the moment. So if you're a Mac user, Please stay tuned. All right. Okay. So uh, today I'm here to guide you through how you can set this up for your ZV1 to do this uh, imaging edge webcam. So first thing. Okay. Uh, go into camera mode. Change it to uh, iMovie, and then make it simple. <laughs> and second thing is go into the camera menu and look for the control with smartphone. Make sure it's, make sure it's switched off. And the third is go into the uh, PC remote function. Change it to on. Ah, that's where the number four come in. Go to the website on the Imaging Edge webcam, download the software. Once you install it, and you plug your camera USB to the computer just by using one cable. And once you install the software, then the, the computer will know that this one is actually a webcam input. That's how you can choose it to become a view of this camera. Easy. So I'm going to show you next is, let's say for myself, I do a lot of web conferencing. I also do a lot of Facebook Live as an example. Let's say for my web conferencing tool, I use WebEx. And then I, when I go into the camera menu, okay, uh, basically inside the software, you can choose the camera input to this Sony camera imaging edge. So you're getting much nicer video quality out of this ZV1 right there. Okay, same thing. So if you're doing Facebook, uh, you want to do Facebook Live as well, just go into the live creation page. At the bottom there, look for the camera input as well. Just change it to, instead of the normal HD camera or the webcam camera from your computer, but you change it to this Sony camera imaging edge. So you are getting the nice, much nicer video quality in comparison, as well as autofocus as well. Because this ZV1 focus very, very fast. So there's actually, there's two uh, features I really like about this ZV1. First thing first is the product showcase setting. So imagine the camera in front of me. So if you when you're doing live streaming, especially you want to share your product and you want the, the focus, when you put on something in the front, the camera will focus it instantaneously. So this one, by pressing the product showcase button, press it and the camera will actually grab the focus. Uh, as soon as something is in front of it, it will focus. So making your whole life uh, sharing experience much easier. So to highlight the product, people can see it very quickly. Especially people these days do a lot of sharing online or even for web conferencing very easily. All right, that's the product showcase setting. Uh, so it's, it's very effortless. Then next to it is we have the one push uh, bokeh button. What it means is that if sometimes you happen to have a distracting background, by pressing the one push bokeh button, you make the background to become blurs away. Just pressing one button. So without going through all the setting in the camera, just pressing one button, it gives you a blur effect. On top, uh, if you press again, you become clear. So it's up to you uh, which way is better for you, but you can have press it to have less distraction background. How cool is that? So these two. Additionally, this segment actually packed this, this 2470 Zeiss lens and f1.2.8. What it means that, uh, like for myself, I actually pair to this uh, this one is a GP-VPT2PT, a wireless Bluetooth control. When I'm pressing the T and W button, I press it, you can allow it to zoom in and zoom out. So with this com uh, composition right here, you can very easily uh, for, let's say you want to have a wide shot of yourself. If you zoom in, uh, then you can highlight on certain product. And this one is power zoom. So you can see the smooth transition. Very nice. All right. So with all these features being said, the power is in your hand to actually depends on uh, how you want to do your live streaming or your web conferencing. It's all there for you. And this one is actually by highly regarded best for casual live streamers, especially if you're coming from a teleconferences or you're doing for e-commerce for small enterprise. This camera is highly regarded, highly recommended apart from your everyday shooting and also very good for live streaming as well for easy start. Okay. Thank you uh, for joining this video. I'm Han again from Sony Malaysia. So stay tuned.